Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca Vanderheiden and I am the Ag in the Classroom Coordinator here in Scott County. Right, so and to begin today, our lesson, we're going to be talking about what we need to be have a healthy diet and how it ties into agriculture. To think about what you eat every day, what type of foods do you think of? What completes your plates that you um, have for dinner or for lunch? Does it contain these items? This is the My Plate. I want you to think about, do you have all five of these uh, significant food groups on your plate? What type of protein do you have? Would that be chicken or steak? Dairy, what about ice cream? Ice cream is a dairy product. Fruits, possibly blueberries or vegetables, uh, broccoli. How many vegetables do you eat a day? How much dairy do you consume? Do you have a larger amount or a smaller amount? I want you to talk with your peers and figure out what type of foods you eat every day, which foods would represent in each food group, and how much do you eat of them. So discuss with your classmates and then we'll move on to the next step. Healthy eating with my plate using my plate. Using my plate by Rebecca Rissman. Stay healthy. It is important to stay healthy. Staying healthy means being fit and eating well. My plate reminds us how to eat well. My plate shows us the five food groups. My plate looks like a dinner plate and a glass of milk. This is to remind us to stay healthy every meal. My plate reminds us to eat many vegetables. Carrots, onions, and radishes are types of vegetables. My plate reminds us to eat fruits too. Bananas, pineapples, and kiwis are types of fruit. My plate reminds us to eat many grains. Pasta, bread, and rice are types of grain. My plate reminds us to eat protein too. Foods such as chicken, beef, pork, fish, and beans give us protein. My plate reminds us to drink milk or eat other dairy prop foods. Dairy foods are made from milk. Cheese and yogurt are dairy foods. My plate shows us to fill half our plates with fruits and vegetables. My plate shows us how shows us to eat some protein, grains, and dairy too. Remember, half the grains you eat should be made out of whole grains. Eat lean protein. Eat different types of fruits and vegetables. Eat low fat and dairy foods. the end. All right, so we just got done reading the, my, the Using My Plate, and this book kind of gave us some good options for different types of food that we might have on our dinner plate. So for our activity today, we're going to make um, a hand. It's called Give Me Five, and those five things are going to represent the vegetables that we need in our diet, protein, grains, dairy, and fruits. So for the activity, we're going to need the printout copy of a hand right here. You'll also need some scissors to cut the hand out, some popsicle sticks, or a pencil if you don't have any popsicle sticks, some markers, color, and then some tape. So these are the materials needed to create the give me five. So first things first, you need to cut out your hand and it should look like this. All right, so once you cut out your hand, I want you to flip it to the back side of your hand and write the five food groups that we just talked about. So vegetable, grains, protein, fruit, and dairy on the back side of your hand. 
Then I want you to brainstorm which uh, food you want to put in each category. For example, what would be a dairy product that you would eat on a normal basis? So I put yogurt because yogurt is a dairy product. Now I need to think of something of a fruit that I would eat and then a protein, grain, and vegetable. Once you complete this step, fill out these uh, fingers and then we'll move on to the next. Okay, so once you have thought about your foods to add to your plate to complete the My Five Food groups, I want you to think about where do we get these foods? Where do they come from? If you think it's the grocery store, it's actually beyond that. How did the grocery store get the food? It's from farmers and ranchers. All of our food is grown or produced by farmers. Where do we get our chicken or our pork? From a pork producer, a farmer that raises pork, or a chicken farmer, a farmer that raises chickens. Where do we get our milk or our ice cream? From dairy cows, and those dairy cows come from many farms where a farmer takes care of the animals. So all your food is somehow tied back to agriculture, and that's why it's so important to have a healthy diet and to uh, be healthy and eat good food groups. So speaking of being healthy, it's always important to exercise as well. So in the middle of your hand, when you have everything labeled of what type of food, I want you to think of your favorite exercise. So mine, I did swimming because swimming is a great exercise that you can do um, and it really gets your heart pumping. But let's go over what I have on my hand. For dairy, I put yogurt. For fruit, I have blueberries on my plate. A source of protein would be chicken and a grain, some rice, and then to end it with carrots as my vegetable. And then in the middle, I have swimming. So you can write down your um, answers on each finger and draw a picture by each if you would like, if you have time, if your teacher wants you to. And then to complete your hand, you have to take your popsicle stick and you're going to tape it on the back of your, the back side of your hand like this. You're gonna put a piece of tape right across. So I'm gonna do that really fast. Just like this, and your hand is complete. So then now you can um, go around and give five to your classmates. I hope you guys enjoyed this activity and I look forward to talking to you guys next month. Have a good day.